And it's it's so sad. Thank you so, so much for so, your so sad. Thank you. Thank you. So so sad. Thank and you. And then let me commend you. You are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. I've been following this story. Thank and you. And I felt that though was that well on your life yesterday? Sorry to say, a bunch of stupid people. I, you know, we have them once in a while, so we have to just uh, manage them through the day. That's it. All yeah, my... they, are, they are just just a bunch of stupid people. Where, where you because will hear the worst? Uh, there the are worst so thing. many questions that we need to ask. That Nigeria police has to come out and explain to us. I asked one of the and my critic today. I asked the... one of the, my critic. I said, "Do you want me to just say, okay?" The narrative you are giving is okay. I'm not talking again. He said, Yes, that's what I want because this man is, is not good. I say, Can you 100% say these ladies are gone? Can you 100% say that? He no, said, No, you can't, you can't even say that because there is nothing to prove if they are alive or dead. He said, No, he can't. But if they are alive and they are somewhere and they need the help. He said, He can't say it. I'm like, Then you want me to forget the case? Does that make any sense for all of us here? He couldn't talk. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't forget about it. We should be making noise till Nigeria police start ask, uh, answering our questions. And then they start doing the right thing. And they start, you know, heads must roll over this case. Yes. Some people have to lose their jobs over this case. Hmm. Because this is a human life we are talking about here. No animals. Even animals have their right to live. They do. So I they feel do. like from 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 the top to the down, people must lose their, their jobs. Seriously, they must lose their job because you you can't cook up the stupid story to come and tell us that. No, no, no. It's it's. And uh, this is almost a week now oh, that God. two in uh, two in three international people involved: Nigeria, Ghana, and British person. This is a week now. The police have not given any official statement concerning this. All of the statements we've had so far is coming from third party. The police in Abia State, when one of the, if I wouldn't say one of the victims, when one remain was found, because I would not say one of the victims, because I believe they are alive somewhere. That's my own thought and opinion. And when that body was found, the local police could not even help. So the guy who is running around and doing this charity has to go and arrange people, arrange a, a, a vehicle to come and extract the remain. Just imagine. And when he did that, he has to go on social media to start raising funds to do autopsy. It doesn't add up. It's like... <laughs> Please let me leave you and then Thank you so much. It's crazy. Thank you for doing doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Much Thank appreciated. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. Who do we have there? Evening. You know, um I've been following this case right from when I saw you on the that the free life. I saw the coffee day you were, you know, spitting fat and some people were commenting. I saw some comment. I was like, wow. So these Nigerians, they don't understand anything that have to do with journalism and all of that. Hmm. And hmm. where I had problem with uh, some of these, our brothers back home, is that they knew the kind of uh, uh, system that they are operating in Nigeria, hmm. like the, the policing system and all of that, how corrupt they are. They have Some of them have literally experienced these people, and they are not asking the right question because you have evidence, proof about this whole case. They think that uh, you're involved in it, and they are committing social... Uh, emotional, man, just emotional, or I think yeah. frustration. I don't know how to... Because mm. sometime I was in the bathroom the other day and I was looking, I, I almost shouted. I'm like, is this for real? Can these people not see? Can these people not see? Yeah, so these, these are the real problems we're having in the country. You know, sometimes when someone comes outside, mm. you know, okay. I can't hear you. Your volume is down completely. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. 
So I was saying like, this is one of the problem we have in our security system. When you see someone bold enough to spit out fat in the country called Nigeria, you see some people coming out to like, uh, you know, go against the person and saying all sorts of uh, evil stuff and all of that. So you will have to know that so many Nigerians out in diaspora and some some in uh, Nigeria as well that I know that we are strongly behind you for coming out to you know speak the fact and all of that. And the worst part of it, these people are not asking the the, the true question, the, the main question that they should be asking: Why will the police officer, someone who is under arrest, allowed to drive? This is a question they should ask. Ask yourself, why is someone who is under arrest allowed to drive without a handcuff? Why? They said they came from the federal level, right? Yes. Why were they passing through so many uh, states? Why not go to direct to where they were supposed to take him to? These are the questions. But they are not asking this question because you are spitting for it. Has these two girls been found? No. Is there proof that they are truly... Why? No, there's no proof. There's literally no proof apart from there's a curtain and there's a there's a body somewhere that is completely head is gone. The story don't add up that the the body has been there for one month and the head because, was gone and it was in a bag. The, this is the country we find ourselves and and for those of our, our neighboring sister coming out saying Nigeria is not safe. Hey, look at we Nigerians. We we there are, there are so many places in Nigeria that are safe, but just that we have a corrupt system. You should know this. Not that Nigeria is not that you know. So the police are a part of the problem in Nigeria. When 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 Abacha, as in one of our Nigeria head of state, which is Abacha, he said any insecurity that lasts for twenty or four hours. The government the government is when you look at the authority, they are not even saying anything concerning this whole issue. But it does. It's a, it's international. I, I just want to say this in clarity. Andrew is a full British. Yeah, he, he went to Nigeria with a visa. So that means the British is under obligation to inquire, because if a white British pie in Nigeria, they will inquire. So if a black British pie in Nigeria, regardless of the crime accused of, regardless of his record here, they will ask a question. And that question is coming very soon. I exactly. Promise. So I, I, I think I, if that question should come, you know, Nigeria and, you know, the British, they, they will still have a, a way out because I don't trust these people. You, you, you know, one thing I have noticed about this country is that no matter the level of your connection, if you, if you have reached their limit, they will just uh, pie the person and make some controversial issues. Highest they have to settle with, you know, is going to be like a trade by butter. Even the British, I don't trust them when mm. it comes to things like that. Yeah, that's the fact. Because once once it evolves so many things now, you see that Nigeria are trying to, they will, they will put, they'll sweep all this whole thing under the carpet because there is corruption as well in British. I'll tell you for a fact, when it comes to Nigeria, it should, it's going to be a trade by battle issue later. These are the major problems we're having in this country. It's fat. The police system is hundred percent corrupt. Hundred percent corrupt. I agree. And in a Take very a, money for, a corruption that for, you is, is no brainer. Yeah. Man, it's 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 so disheartening, you know. It's so disheartening. We, we we for for me personally, I I'm encouraging you to you know keep up the good work Thank as we follow. So much. Thank you. Case. Let's see how it ends. You know. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to bring a few more people in. I've got 13 people waiting in the room. Let me just go to the bottom, um, Ike, and then I'm bringing Prince. Then I'm bringing in Believe Ago. Are you there? You are coming in, brother. Who do we have again? Charles, do you want us to come back? Priska is coming in. Then let me bring um, yeah, Claire D, come in. All right, we are here. So please mute yourself if that's possible and anybody can take the stage. Good evening, guys. Who do we have there? Priska, do you want to speak? Okay. While we're waiting for them to set up themselves, let me just uh, repeat myself again. I am not in any way 
using this platform to advocate for behavior of Andrew Kondo it. Um, what I am trying to use this platform for is to make sure that people like Andrew uh, that are having conviction in, in another country cannot come to Nigeria and do what they want because our authority encourage it and enable it. Andrew was well enabled. Now, apart from his crime that is highly recorded in Nigeria, Andrew has no conviction in Nigeria for all those atrocities. And we are talking about a Nigeria where there's no conviction record, where there's no criminal record, where there's no database for uh, people that did harm to children, where there's no database for people that do bad to women. There's no database for people even that pie somebody. There's no database for that. I hope you guys know that. We don't have a database for that. If I pay somebody in Nigeria and I want to go to Britain, I will go to the British Embassy and I will apply for visa to go to the UK. And then they will ask me, have you ever been convicted for this? I say, no, I just say, no, that's it. And the court have just convicted me yesterday because there's no verifiable place to go and check it. Yeah, we have a country where there's no database for driving license. There's no database. You can send somebody to collect a driving license for you and they will collect it for you in your name. We have a country where there's no department that protects children from harm. We have a country that have no department that protect our women in a proper way and document it. So it's, it's, um, we don't really have a country. I mean, whoever is prompting us that we have a country is an individual effort. Nigeria is operating on an individual effort. If you are a big man, you build your house, you build your boho. In your estate, you maintain the, the street with your own money. You contribute money to maintain your estate. If you are sick or you have a problem, you don't have a hospital, your driver will take you there. It's you. I was asking someone yesterday, if you collapse in your hospital or in your hotel in Nigeria, for example, you have a shock or you have a, you have a heart attack and anything like that, you don't know who to call. There's no national number. If there is, call it from now to tomorrow. Because I've tried this online before. I was live one time and I said, let me call the number. I was in Lagos. I was streaming in Lagos. So we don't have any of those things. And I want us to really ask ourselves a question. Where are we going in 21st century with a population of 250 million people? Where are we going that the basic thing, basic thing that make a country a system we don't have it and when you are talking the people that are born with that kind of underdevelopment they are the one actually see no problem with it they are the one that if they have a cancer problem today for example they have no treatment in short that is a license to go and they are the one that will look at me and say me i'm talking rubbish against their leader supposed leader so it is very very painful when you think about our society and this has been coming for a very long time. And for me, I want to speak out. I want to engineer change. An opportunity come, but come at once. I could have been a coward and remain quiet since that day. I could have been a coward and say, when Adotun told me not to push the narrative anymore, I should just accept what they say. He said, have organ harvester. I asked her, where does he harvest organ? Which investigation did you guys do to conclude, to come to the conclusion to that? Where did they get the news from? Which police station did they get it from? What are the verifiable facts? Where you are leaving the bigger picture. And this is how we'll do it one day. A Syria, a Syria uh, KI will come to Nigeria and do and take as many people as possible. Because no question is asked. No lesson is learned. You don't ask them where they are coming from. No question. As long as I'm rich and I drive a Mercedes and I'm big in Nigeria, everybody say yes sir, yes sir to me. I told you, I showed you a video of Andrew that he sent to me. The video was he was driving and the popo stopped him. When the popo stopped him, the popo asked him, they touch his car and they saw, I think, Viagra in his car. And the popo was like, what is this? What is this? And he was calling the name. And Andrew was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And when he hear Andrew and Andrew came out like this, you can see the video on my, on my page. 
And they say, oh, God, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Take your, take your medicine. Take your medicine. And he give them 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira, 1,002. And he give it to them. And in that vehicle, there was an arm in that vehicle. They did not check anymore. That, what about if that ammunition was wrongfully acquired and he was going to use it to harm somebody somewhere else? All that, those are the lapses that Andrew saw and he documented everything. And he put, he's not only sending me women, he sent me everything. If you hear about news, when the dollar exchange was going up, he was sending me all those things. Anything he see that interests him, oh, this is fascinating, he sent it. If there's a news on Linda Ikeja's page that is not on our website, he will tell me, your, your website did not carry this news. Buddy, your website did not carry the news. He will screenshot it and send it to me. So he wasn't just sending me these things. And then we also write local news. I write Milton King's news. I write Beckingham Show news on our page. So he wants to read it. So he's basically addicted. And he like my, when I analyze things, he love it. So he got addicted to sharing information with me. And he probably shared those images to, to bully some of the, his victims and say, I have a blog friend. In short, that girl the other day said, he said, I have a blogger's friend. If you mess up, I ask my blogger to post it. But I'm so intelligent that when those images come, they don't last in my head for one second. In short, some of them, when I see them, I just discard it immediately. Like, it literally, and delete it out of my phone. And delete it out of my phone. Because they make no meaning for me. They make no value for me. Uh, somebody is asking me, why didn't I speak out? I could have speak out to you. I will speak out to you, no worry. So it is very, very hard to condition our people because we've been conditioned. We are a nation that has been conditioned that all our responsibility should be given to God. Good evening. Good evening. Hi there. I'm fine. Yes. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay, I want to say something. Go ahead. A please. quick one. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I was just listening to you. You saying you were so close to Mr. Andrew or whatever. When you mean so he close, a he's a friend. I know him and I'm not denying yeah. that. Yes. Okay. You knew him. Yes. And why the case was why the case was ongoing, you still knew Andrew, right? Which case? About the girls, the missing girls. Yes. Okay, so my question was this, like you are telling us that while you are being close to him, you knew really nothing about the girls from him. No, I didn't and know anything until anything. on the 22nd. He never shared anything as friends to you and you no. never made any move to find out. You never made any move because with what I hear, you had every opportunity to know one or two things from this. Angle. Where did you hear it from? You You're hearing from me now. Yeah, from you now. Yeah, so you want you to hear from me or you want before. to assume on what you've heard? No, I'm hearing from you now. So do you want to I'm hear from me? To ask me a question. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm going to ask you this question. Yes, please. He was sending you things and you are a journalist and you had, to me, you had every opportunity to find one or two. So why did you not? To do what? I said. I have opportunity to do what? You are a journalist, right? Yes. I said you had this small, this tiny opportunity to know one or two things from him before he died. All of this, all of this information that has been coming out now, where did, you, where are you hearing it from? It's from me. The picture yeah, and the videos of the girls you see in his room on the when they on the twenty second he sent it to me because when they arrested him on the eighth he couldn't get in touch with me. On the twenty second is when I asked him that there's a there's a block taking that you kidnapped two girls. That's when he sent me that video that you that you guys are talking about now. So and I challenged him. Then he told me he didn't. He didn't. He said this is why they gave me my phone. This is why they're asking me to 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 leave. That are, are paid. They're tracking the number. They've sent. They've told me that um, these girls are on a self kidnap uh, mission. So that is the fact. There's no other fiction about it. Okay, I'm going to say something before I go offline. Yes, please. Number one, the reason why I decided to join this line. Number one, you, I would, I would actually tell you the truth and how I feel about this. I feel disappointed, firstly, because here yeah, the, the, the Nigerian police forces are very wrong in their, in their own end. And so are you, sir. I will tell you the truth. 
So are you. I am not only angry with the Nigerian police force, I'm also angry with you. What is your anger? You never. Yeah, I am angry with you, guys. I'm, I'm going to give you my. I'm going to give you my own point. Anger, your you are anger. Why are you angry? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You are a journalist, and with everything I've been hearing you explaining, there was nothing like your job involved in this. Everything you're explaining right now is out of friendly conversation with Mr. Andrew. Yes. And this is a case of life, and with everything you explained, there was nothing, nothing serious about you trying to put effort as a journalist or trying to save lives. Which Number life? One. Andrew was arrested. Andrew was arrested in Nigeria. Are you from Nigeria, please? Yes, I'm in Nigeria. Okay, yes, listen, he listen, was listen, listen. And I listen, heard from you. Listen, listen. Let me explain to you. Andrew was arrested. He was in the hand of your Nigerian police for two weeks. Are you listening to me? I did not know yeah. about the girl situation on the 22nd. Are you listening? Okay. On the 22nd yeah. of May is when he told me about it. That they are accusing him of this. But they have done their investigation that they say the girl were on a self kidnap. If your police in Nigeria look at someone like that and say, we have done our investigation, this is the paper, you are bail. They, so who are you to now tell me now what, what, what I should have do with the information I have? You are a journalist. So what do you, you want are... me to do as a journalist? Can I please talk? No, you can't. You were saying something. Wait, wait. I heard from you. Everything I say to you, I'm not saying because I heard from no, somebody. No, you I'm, are saying from me. Listen, listen. Wait, I told you. You said something. No, no, you are not saying anything. You, you are gone. Go away. Go and comment on another page. This is what I'm talking about. She had already made up her mind. She has already made up her mind from another blog. And that's it. She made up her mind. So she came to vomit anger instead of learning. You are a journalist. Why didn't you do something? But your own police department did not do anything for two weeks. The girls were missing for 27 days. Go comment, insult, do anything. Those are the kind of people that we have to help to understand the reason. No emotion. She came with anger. She came with emotion and she was firing. She came to attack. He said, let me drop what I want to say before I go. Go to Daddy Freeze. Go and clap for them. Don't ask your police a question. On this platform, what we are doing, we are building people information center where we can share this kind of thing and educate our people so that the government can make a policy that impact you, that impact your children. I can do anything. You can do anything. There has to be a policy. You live in this country, if you have that kind of situation, the police will not neglect it. And some people that live in the Western country, I can't believe you will live in the UK and be speaking, you come and speak English on my platform and tell me what I should do. But you are not asking your government what does she do. But tomorrow you look at the UK government, they are not helping me, they are not helping me, they are not helping me. You are leaving the responsibility that the government is supposed to do. You are leaving it to a journalist. I should put myself at risk because I want to please you. So go another platform. There's a comment section there. You can express yourself and I'll be happy. So if anybody wants to join again, we can join. I give everyone a chance. But if you come here to share your narrative that you can easily drop on the comment section, I will just cut you off. How? Why is this so difficult? Why is it so difficult? Why is it so difficult to understand what we are talking about here? Why is it so difficult? Hi, Mr. Ben. Um, I just have a few questions to the people ranting in the comment section saying, why did you not report? Why did you not report? I just have a few questions for them. Most of you in the comment section date Yahoo boys. You, most of you date Yahoo boys. Most of you in the comment section, your brothers are Yahoo boys. Hmm. Most of you in the comment section, you have friends that date married men, people who are married. How many times have you all made that effort to report 
those your friends mm. to the people who they are dating and uh, to the to the wives of those and uh, uh, they are dating so one thing about nigerians is that they would always be in this world. they attach sentiments to everything like are people not understanding what you are saying what you are telling them these girls got missing around april and then you only got to hear about the missing girls later not exactly that april yes so how are you going to report to the police if the police has already gone to see the man and then discharged him saying that these girls were uh, self I do not get the whole story. I do not get the whole issue. The things you're saying, or they are just joining and then saying different things. Or because they feel they have cheap data, they can easily accuse somebody. Or because you know, I don't just understand. I did not listen. They I came with anger. And if this thing happened to them, if this happened to them, they want somebody to to speak the truth because. They come with anger, so much anger. Oh my God, education is so easy. And God will help us to understand each other part. But these are the kind of thing I face that I even stop reading comments. I don't want to read comments. But when she came and said, I want to drop what I want to say before I leave. You're not going to drop it. You go in the comment section and drop I will not block you. You can drop it. You can say what you want to say and reread it again. But make sure you listen before you drop that. I didn't know this Somebody got missing, you know. The, the girls got missing April. Police would have started investigation when the news came up. Mm -hmm. But they went up to Harrison to cop the, the case. Stuff. Is it meant to be like that? Are they not reasoning? Are they not thinking? Which one is mm -hmm. Mr. Ben? You would have done something. Mr. Ben, you would have done something. Meanwhile, somebody has already reported in January of this year about this same issue and they discharged the same person. So which one is Mr. Ben? You would have done some Mr. Ben. You would have... Uh, what, is even wrong? what is happening? What is wrong with... Don't they think... What is wrong with their, with their IQ? What is wrong with their Mr. IQ? Ben, um, I'd like to make a comment, please. I think what you should be do doing is... We are here, like I said, you are building a platform to educate, to inform. Um, so that means you are looking at people that have that intellect to interact with you in that regard. Yes. Like you just did. If anybody comes on here trying to push a narrative that is not right, trying to shove something down your throat that is not right, trying to let people here understand that what you're saying is not what you're saying, then you just drop the person Thank from you. comment. Thank you. Don't read comments. I think what we should be doing is that most of us, when we come on here, especially we that actually believe in what you're doing, we just, we will actually just stay on here and actually watch and, and moderate the, the comment for me please thank you and then we probably will try and you know respond to one or two if we can but the bottom line is that if someone comes here and tries to put a narrative on you just drop them thank you thank you because we are trying to be very educative here if, if you're not smart you can't come to this platform i'm very sorry we are having smart conversations here and you guys should just use your use your use, use your, your number 10 <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That's so cool. So, who do we have there? Charles, come back again, please. Charles. Good evening. Evening, how are you? Hi, and you? I'm very good, thank you. You've been watching? Are you just oh, joining? One, 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 one minute, please. You know, uh, Mr. Ben, can you ask someone how to make some people moderators to your page? If I you want to do it. Because I don't know. Should I should do it, though. Block yes. people for you. Yes. Please. You I should would, be able to help us. We can block them. I will do it. Please DM me or I will, I will just please. I will do it. I want to add as many moderators as possible that are smart, that can handle things. And we can basically. Because if we don't do this, it's like the. It's like their boat. It's like somebody sent them a message. Go there and distract the message. Yes, and they are flooding your page right now. Like you can see a lot of people, yes. a lot of fake pages flooding yes. the page right now and you know, keep repeating the same thing over and over and over yes. and over again. Yes. So you should learn how to make some people moderators so we can just block them. Please, Simple I will shot. do that. I will do that 100%. Please DM me right now and uh, you are in already 100%. And Charles is in and one of my sister is in as well. We are doing this. Because this is not my platform. This is our platform, 100%. Let's do it. Thank you. So you are saying something, my sister, up. Go ahead. Okay, you off. 
Okay. Just that, like, like my network is somehow bad, though. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. what I wanted to ask is this. There, uh, there, I was, I just came across one video, I think, like, a few have days you, ago. How long have you watched this video? Have you joined her? When did you join this live? I don't know if just I joined? got her name wrong. She was saying that she... No, I, I just joined, let me say, maybe like 10 minutes ago okay, or something like okay, that. But this particular video that I'm talking about is like somebody screen recorded it um, like a few days ago that it frees you. We are live with, I think, Harrison, then and this freeze, Rachel, yeah. and I think that he freeze or mm -hmm. something like that. The girl was saying that... Um, Andrew was sending you and that you are with her video where Andrew was let me know it's because of like mm. and TikTok not restrict us. Mm. She was so serious, so mean say that you were with her video, that video there, right there that immediately Andrew record and he sends to you. Lie. You know, like we are in Nigeria mm. and there is a kind of mentality we have. I'm not trying to support anybody here. There is a kind of mentality we have. Mm. I was listening to the like slapping that girl on her mouth because the way she was saying the whole thing, she was saying it as if you were the one that sent her to Andrew's house. Because if even if you have a friend. You know, in this life, we have this, all these crazy friends that will always call you, even when you don't want to answer call, they will call you and be talking what you don't understand, that kind of thing. Maybe you, Andrew is a kind of friend that is, that you don't even know how to let him go, and he doesn't want to let you go, that there's some crazy stuff he do, and he, he gets to let you know about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting my point. I got your point. That I know, you have I got, those I things in your in, 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 in your possession. Mm -hmm. Is that why Nigerians are judging you that you are a corporate, that you are working hand in hand to hand with Andrew? It's mispriority. It's what I want to understand. It's mispriority. It's, mis it's uh, they have the problem is this. There's so much frustration in Nigeria. If you see what's going on in the country, there's a young lady in Nigeria, her name is Sandra Soja, whatever. The girl came on her platform with one million follower and say some ludicrous statement. If you don't give me 20 million, I will not date you. That is a comedy. Okay? If a man doesn't have 20 million, that is a comedy. That is just her statement. Do you know Nigerians lost priority? They drove into her page and make sure they report the page until the page was brought down. That shows you the priority of my people in our country. They don't like but any it, truth. Know, they don't like know, truth. You know, in all things, you, you know, in all these things, I felt for the girls. I felt for the girls. I spoke if, to the... I spoke if, to even, the... I spoke to Richard yesterday. Even as, this, even as this incident is happening, a lot of them in the comment section that will not want their sisters, their cousin, their relation to disease from going uh, about meeting people they don't know. There is somewhere, I base in Enugu, mm -hmm. there is somewhere they call Kubana. Mm. Um, um, yeah, it's, this, this is the only place um, we have Kubana Club here in Enugu. I bet you if you go there now, you meet more than 200 girls standing there. Hmm. They are into hookup, they are into wrongs. These are somebody's students. Even as this incident is happening now, they don't fucking care. Hmm. They just, they feel, they felt like these two girls, they are not wise, they are not smart, they don't know how to play their game. They are standing out there. And when something happens to them tomorrow, and maybe somebody comes up, comes out with the little information or knowledge they have about that certain case, Nigerians will, for, will try to frustrate that person. But they will not tell their sister to stay one place. They, if you go there, and even if you go out around two, they are there. Okay, I watched one video that Harrison made. He said that, Police, if somebody has reported the dead body they found in that cutting 
to the police station, to the police people. I think maybe at the state command. Before they, this, these two girls' case started going viral, and they did not do anything. They did not move that body from there. Okay. They did not even carry the body, maybe to deposit it and maybe try to look or check. Like that's a human remain, though. Just yes, imagine. So they left it there. That video of Harrison is there. It's still there, if I'm not mistaken. When he brought Ambrose and then said that it was now another person that gave him information. When they were saying that if anybody can provide information where those girls are, that was when somebody now told him, this is so, so, so place that they found one dead body there that was butchered. And Nigerian police has the mind to say that they were told. What did they do about it? Nothing. If if Nigerian police can discharge and and, and acquit um this person, tell him to go, that he he is free, then who are you with all this your evidence? Even with this your evidence, Nigerian police will even uh, you get yourself, you know, get there Nigeria. If not, they would have handcuffed you that he, that Andrew is free, that you are the one that kidnapped that is, those I'm, kids. I'm 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 shame stop I'm sh I'm shaming him. That's what they will do. They will arrest you. That you that Andrew is free, that is you that know, even when they know the truth, even when the truth is as plain as white, they will twist it and twist it and go to this way. Why will you shoot if somebody that that you are still trying to get information from to know where those girls are, even if you, you say that he's an organ harvester or that he's this or that, at least there is some certain way to torture somebody to get some information about him, to get some information about the missing girls. They didn't do that. Now, Andrew is dead. Maybe we should, all these people in the comment section should go to the land of the dead and ask Andrew where is those girls. <laughs> I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming Andrew for doing whatever he did. I'm blaming those girls for you traveling. If if we are, I would have blamed Andrews. Maybe they they are into all this relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend, or maybe that you are his fiancée or something like that. I would blame. I would blame Andrew. Uh -uh, somebody trusted you so much, loving you, that kind of thing, and you decide to. There's kill no. That person there's no that connection. There's no relationship connection with them. It's no, transactional. This one is just a trans. This one is a pure trans. This one, they are just into hookup. They have been doing it, going from one state to another to meet different men. This is just what they meant. And is this is not the first time they are seeing dead body on the road in Nigeria. I don't know why Nigerians are making this one so different as if it's, this is the first one. I feel pain for the girl's family. And I feel like maybe one day we, go, we are going to wake up and see those girls, let them tell their story. Even some of them have started twisting the story that um, Celine, Celine made plan with Andrew to bring the other Ghanaian lady so, so that mm -hmm. she will collect money and go. I saw the narrative but already. Yes, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand the way we reason. We, sh we should do better. We should do better. Thank you. We should learn. We should caution ourselves. They're just emotional. People are just busting out for no this, reason. This, this was how Junior Pope died, yeah. and everybody was blaming T virus. Hey, T virus so is T -virus, the bomb. So T virus should have died with um, and Junior Pope, now, so that everything will be justified. But the only wrong thing Junior T virus did was to survive that boat accident and Nigerian pin Junior Pope death on, on him and said that he strangled him in the water. Haba is too much. And a blog will carry it. A blog. A blog it that have five thousand people will carry it. That's 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 that is it's painful. That's demonic. Me me, I don't know the reason why Andrew was sending you those stuffs. I don't know. I, I tell maybe, you why. Maybe. I tell you because that's a very good, because it's always good to say it because when you say you don't know, Andrew is a psychopath. Andrew Mr. Did, ben, yeah. can you please pick Creator Search Inside PVC? Can you pick her? She came on yesterday. Oh. If you can pick her. Oh, yeah. Let me do that, please. Uh, creator. I will pick her. If somebody said, um, how can you say you are not blaming Andrew? Are you a human being? I am not a human being. I'm a, I'm a fucking ghost. <laughs> I have a friend that, that, that she based in Abba. Mm. I would have called her name here. 
She based in Don't call she's the name, business. please. Let's protect she, she's the name. A business, she's a business lady. Let me say, it's going to... It's not even up to five days now. Mm. She's been shorted the tat she had with Andrew. This lady got married, I think, 2022. I started following her because of the hustling spirit she has. She is doing two of these animal farm or something like that, mm -hmm. fish, poultry, and all that. That's what she's into. She's, she's consulted the chat she had with Andrew, where Andrew was inviting her over. But in that chat, she, uh, and she, she herself, she was saying that she's not going to come because she's always busy with her business. Hmm. Andrew was telling her that she should come over. That uh, is like, he she, he was saying that he, sh that he will be in her back to meet his family that he will be to be in Abba to meet his mom or something like that that since the girl is in Abba that they should meet she, with the, the girl just consulted it but from that chat you will see you will see some voice notes that Andrew sent to her then this part that I'm telling you now that I read because the girl didn't put it on screen record so that we hear what the voice note said mm. this part that I'm telling you now is the part the way she was he was inviting her over telling her to come but the girl wrote on the comment section that she didn't go because because when she first received the chance from andrew she thought it was a business chat but as time goes on he was talking like can we meet that kind of a thing and she being a, um, a busy person mm -hmm. she doesn't have time for all those kind of movements okay assuming that girl went there how many of us would have known that she has gone to meet andrew Nobody. There is a lot of people out there that is Andrew victim. Mm -hmm. Even the girl that went to the police station to speak up. What did Nigerian police do? You are telling me that am I a human being? No, I am a ghost. Don't stay one place. If you like be moving about, don't stay one place. There is a lot of people that is like Andrew that is even worse than, than him in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And the Nigerian police, even if you go there and report, it's only the grace of God that will save you. Because you as, move out, even as soon as you get it, there, they will ask you to pay money first. You you move out you move out of your your your, your residence just to get something you don't even know what you are going to need there. The best thing for you is just to be focused. You have, but how can you how can you decide to be going out with somebody you just met online? Some people to be on a safer side they will tell that person come to my location first. Some, some will not even accept to even go. There is a lot of people that met something good on in, on the internet. There is some people that still met the worst of it on this same internet. Even on the, this somewhere that is not even on a normal on a normal ground, people met something that is worst on for them. You are asking me if I'm a human being. Did I actually send anybody there? What do you want me to do? Nigerian Nigerian police freed Andrew. I don't know why they killed him at last. Okay, let's go to let's let's put it this way: in a civilized country, in a civilized and well-developed country, do you think Andrew would have been killed without getting any information from him? It's impossible. Don't you think there's something fishy about this case? You're asking me if I'm a human being. Assuming that Celine and her friend was in their house, would this thing happen? to them with this happened to them you, don't go don't, you better use this energy that you are using to ask me questions yeah and go and preach to those girls out there and let them know that the, the danger of 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 things they don't know is, is 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 i don't know how to put it and you either is telling me madam shut up yeah, people marry right. online. Yeah, don't worry. You will, you will, you will you waste your the energy responding to everybody. Don't don't no, worry about them. Let's just keep just to the course and ignore. speak what is necessary. Okay, just, just ignore all that stuff. Ignore, ignore, um, ignore. Viral would like to talk, so he can take over. Yeah, please take over, please. Hello. Hello. want to talk viral i thought you said you wanted to say something so you 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 can go ahead Is viral there? he's the one that actually 
wrote in the comment section she wanted. I think Creator wants to say something. She can go ahead. Okay. 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 Um, can anybody hear me right now? You're very clear. Oh, okay. Now, based on um, some little um, videos and messages that I've seen, I really want, I'm just asking myself, if really Nigeria, they do really think, or is it that because of the situation of the country, we can't even think properly well? Because there are some certain questions that, that I see that pops up now in this, you know, I'm just really, really confused. Okay, let me refer back to um, Mubad case. When the issue happened, a lot of people were doing this, saying that, saying this. But at the end, you people are fighting for justice, right? Mm -hmm. You people did not get the same justice because you people are looking somewhere else. Is this one, is this one? Case is not concluded in that way. Mm. If they want to really go through the whole issue, if they get his phone, they already know what and what is missing but because of the, the state yes it's because of the state of the country what the law the lawless, lawlessness in the country that's the reason why for me is something that we cannot even discuss for me i already know that a lot of things is missing you coming out to tell nigerian the truth they, in fact, to me, they are emotionally, emotionally break down. They don't even understand what it means. As, as they are now, they don't even know they are, they are left from their right. And that's just the truth. It's not an insult, but it's the truth. I did philosophy. I, I, I'm, I'm this kind of person that I don't just go by what you say. I'll first of all digest it, then analyze it, because I'm a critical thinker. I don't come out and say, oh, because you say this, then I'll just come out and defend it. No, because I already know what is going on already. If this man is alive today, we already know what and what is there. If those guys are still alive or it's just the same you know, normal purple thing. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for me, it's the truth. You already did the, 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 the best you are doing now is come out, tell them, oh, this thing is missing. You people need to look this way. This is the same thing when VDM came out. They still, they were doing, VDM is just, is just cloud changer, it's just this, it's just, at the end of it, he told them, oh, you people will regret this thing you are doing. And later on, they are seeing it that, oh, they will not get the same justice. So, if they like, yes, it's the truth. If they like, keep dropping. Do you understand? And it's the truth. Hmm. You coming out today telling them, they will not take it. They will not. They will they feel like, oh, eh, some, some, let me tell you something. Eh. If I have a business, in fact, let, let me just analyze something. A man in the U.S. who had a lot of money or business, and at the tail end, uh, they broke up, or maybe the, the, the man is homeless after getting much money. Do you think the man will be this, in, this, in the same state of mind? No. He's going to be depressed. And if finally, there are a lot of people, a lot of people come from the state that is in this country who are homeless. They are not the same. I know a lot of them. Some sleep on the street. And when you talk to them, they will just tell you, oh, if, and when you listen to their, their story, Somebody you know, you like, you be, you be just like shocked. Mm. And when a lot of them tell you, they will feel like Nigeria will tell you, oh, it's just this, it's just that. But you don't know what this person is going through. For me, Andrew living in the UK, we already know that he's messed up. Is I already I saw the story, and when I connect the dot, a woman messed him up. Is depressed. Is not mentally stable. Mm. He left to Nigeria. The only way he could protect, he could hide from all those is to come to Nigeria. For me, 
this thing has happened now. Eh? If you did not come out and say, oh, this is what is going on. I don't think this thing, not that you are supporting Andrew. You never did that in any way. If possible, you already said it. They should hold him more. They should hold him more. But people did not even understand. Some people were saying, why is he sending you that, those videos? Let me tell you something. If, yeah, even, even when, I'm in, if I'm, when I'm in school, yeah, if, for instance, we're having a party, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you like a gay. And, for instance, you can say, ah, my guy, see this, my girl, oh, it's fine. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. doesn't mean that um, I have a friend, uh, something happened, Mr. and ben, I dump him. Can you please? It's not a baby you, baby, oh, no. you babysit. It's uh, K K H A D I B A T. If you can add her, she's been in the comment. When she drops, that we can add uniquely great because I really want to hear what she has to say. Okay, that lady. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Hadiba. It's not about party. Yeah, I saw this one comment. If you look at the same person, you know that. Is not mentally stable. Do you That's why I want him to what, what, I, what I'm giving you, I'm giving you an illustration. In you understand a scenario that oh, this is why and this is a reason. I'm not saying I'm not there, but I understand your explanation from A to Z. What you've been doing with him before was business. Yes. Not um that because when you analyze that yesterday. And one guy, what's his name? O2 or O2 was saying one thing. Later on, he was say, oh, maybe because uh, the, a lady did that to him, so he's, he's doing... Let me tell you, eh? like I said before, people who are not mentally stable will talk a different nonsense here. If you like, say you are talking nonsense. Do you understand? That's if you like, you people should say, but the real truth is that Nigeria don't accept the truth, what they like, what they love, is the lies. If you did not come out today, you will not, you will not see them. You will not see some, some people. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be saying, oh, that girl, she went to the session, she said it all. Creator, um, I have a suggestion. Kindly, yes. let's stop looking at those uh, messages and responding to them. Let's focus on the topic, yes. you know, and okay. making our constructive okay. submissions so that others can also come on, okay? okay. I think okay. we need okay. to moderate this thing properly so everybody can get the chance to talk, this. Okay? I see Thank you. This. I see this. Thank you. Creator, let's give them the comments. Let, let's uh, go and uh, basically um, concentrate on the rating I have. They don't let them distract you. Okay, the okay. Okay, okay. So, so now number one is this, yeah. Mm -hmm. The the same girl, that girl, Mr. the first ben, girl. Please take Hadibat, please. Hadibat. Hadibat. K H. Yes. Okay. The, the first girl. Yes. The first girl already reported such issue to the people, right? The first girl. The first girl now, to the police to report. Yes. Yes. He already reported to the people. Yeah. If a country, I'm not even saying a country, just a country. If they take that thing serious, I'm hundred percent sure this man will not do what he has to do. In fact, those girls will be alive today. Yes. You can't blame somebody who is it's not a baby. It doesn't they, babysit him. If they took it serious in January, they won't be made. It will not happen. Never. Never. Hi there. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So with all this, with all I have said now, like yesterday, I made two points. I said, for me, if the popo really, they want to really do their job, they are really doing their job. Mm -hmm. Number one, there's a red flag I've seen. A letter that they already denied that, ah, I'm not aware of this, aware. is one. Two, you, you, to, to take somebody from where he is to Abuja, is as easy as any as anything. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Number three, why did you people kill him? Because people are involved already. Yes. You people are looking for missing people. So why did you not kill him? I already used my statement that I don't even supposed to use. Thank you. Do you understand? Yes. 
Why did you go? So that through, is it. Why did you go through so many roads to get? Yeah, to get to to open, take hotel, the person down. Sleeping in yes. the hotel with a, with, a, with a suspect, eating, drinking. How does that make it? Why? Sense? How? I, see, in, 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 see, even if this country is as bad as we look at it, yeah, I've never seen a suspect, a suspect, eh, a kidnapper or whatever, they will give him a presenter treatment. I've never seen, I've never heard of it. Bro, let me hold never. On. Hold on. Andrew sent, oh my God, I'm going to just, because I feel like, I feel like giving drop now. You see the police inside the room, lying in bed, sleeping with his rifle on the floor. What? And these people, yes. The, the rifle of the officer on the floor, sleeping. Andrew was doing it. see him. He's sleeping. Yes. And he sent it, send it to me. And the police are wishing I'm in Nigeria now. They could have come and picked me. And they are supporter online. I say they should pick him up. They should pick him up. They should pick him up. They should deport him to Nigeria. And I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Hey, hey, question, question. You see, there are sensible questions. There are sensible questions. Can you give other a chance to Greater, talk? Okay, please. okay. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay, yeah. Um, Uncle Ben, yeah. Who is on um, Ben? Um, I understand that you you said please, you don't. Uh, want to Uncle Ben, you. please drop uh, creator and can you add uniquely great? I want to hear what she's been she's okay. been in the comments. I want to hear what she 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 has to say okay. after this lady. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I perfectly understand you that you're you're trying to be careful. You don't want to <laughs> like put yourself into trouble into Nigerian government. Mm -hmm. We understand that Nigerian government or Nigerian police they are very useless. They don't, as in, I can't, as, as I'm so disappointed in them, anyways. But you know, on social media, if you want to call somebody else, if you want to make an, an awareness or something, we know how we open our fake profile to call somebody else. We know how to make our fake pages to make any awareness or what is going on. You can actually, you should have done that. It would never know that you make the fake page or anything. It would never trace, trace that fake page to you. I'm just saying this as a woman being. Okay. See, just let, let's leave Nigerian police out of this. Okay. We know okay. they are very useless. Would you, would you we like know they, are, they like money. But like as a like woman being that we have the, we have hearts, we have sisters, you should have made fake profile to, to, to make an awareness. Uh, and can I respond to that quickly, yeah, please? Um, uh, 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 Zigzra, Ben is an independent journalist. I want you guys to understand this. And he's under no obligation, underline that, no obligation whatsoever to do anything on behalf of anybody or to put any article out there on behalf of the oh, public. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? This is listen, a woman. We're talking about life. We're not talking about, listen, listen, not talking listen. about chicken. Listen. This could be your sister. This now, this is the sentiments. This is the sentiments we talk can about. Be your sister. They can now, be this my is the emotional sentiments sister. we talk you, about. You, no, we are not. We are talking about life here. We are not talking about chicken. This could be anybody's, anybody's daughter, anybody's sister. Listen, Ben have Ben does not know what's going on with these ladies until when it came to light. Maybe a day before or two before it came to light, and these girls are already missing or whatever. Charles, I've done can I answer a question? Can I ask a question? Charles, just hold on. My sister, thank you for your question. Do you think the ladies are done? So we should just assume now, RIP for them, their story is done. Do you think so right now? What do you mean by that? Because the last time mm. I saw it on the news, they are dead, isn't it? Who told you on the news that they who confirmed it? Well, I don't know. What we saw on the news is Who's the they news? are dead. Who told you? Sorry. On, on Instagram, same Instagram oh that we saw the news. All right, thank you. This is why you guys need to be very involved. Because, because they put here, you have to listen before you come exactly. up to make any conclusion. Because they put emotions listen, for and before. be sure of what you're coming to say. Exactly. Yes, because they put emotions first before fact. Even as we speak now, 
It's not, she's not even appreciated. You, you sound very far away. Hadiba, you sound very far away. If you can get close to your oh, microphone. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay, can I just, I just want to say, like, I'm going to, I'm, it's not like I'm going to side Mr. Ben or I'm going to side any other person. I'm just being neutral. What I want to tell you, Mr. Ben, maybe it's not about everybody talking about IQ. Some people's IQ is low. Some, they are intelligent people that do not even think like we are thinking. Do you accept that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. So, Mr. Ben, your level, I assume, is, is a bit higher. So you cannot assume everybody would think the same way. Do you understand? I think you should do like a timeline of things. Like, okay, like you kept saying September 22, essentially, so that people will understand the timeline. Because people assume you, you knew about what he was doing with the girls. They didn't know he was just se sending you messages of, um, like, oh, I'm with these girls or something like that. You need to explain it in layman, in like, done, like you're explaining to I a have baby. Done it, I have done it one million times. Uh -huh. I have that means it. I have exactly. And I spent three hours talking about it. These uh -huh. people, they don't care. They just yeah. come on and they just say, You are the problem. I'm like, oh, Exactly. Tell they me see, how and me. another thing, and another thing I would like to say is, you know, with, with frustration with everybody has their own problems we all have what we're thinking we just need an outlet that's what i feel everybody some people are doing so i wouldn't 100 percent blame them because when people are frustrated they tend to they tend to channel their their anger, anger, anger. or their frustration on the next thing just like just like um when was that guy that wrote the book the animal farm and not all animals are the same. That's Do you understand? A, a George, George Orwell, or what's his name? Not all animals are the same. We might be in the same place. We might, be, we might not even be in the same But not all animals are in the same place. Then I also like to say for the Ghanaians, we feel for you just as we feel for our Nigerian sister. When we come up here, let's try not to um, fuel the rivalry by saying Nigerian police, Nigerian police, because in that same Ghana, there has been different things that have been done. People have been busted, Nigerians, even Ghanaians. You know, every country, even the ones, the people in America calling, you don't have, yeah, you need to have a warrant. What happened to Sandra Bland? Hmm. Sandra Bland was posted um, while, as if she was in the cell, and she was already on her life. Do you understand what happened to the guy that was busted without a warrant in that same America? They were supposed to go to the next door and it was shot. And it was taken Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Every society, even in UK, there's a story going on on TikTok. I saw several girls posting it. There's different black, black kids, black children, not just female, found in the river. And some people are saying the police are not investigating. The fact of the matter is we do not really know what is going on but for andrew whatever happened within that last 21 hour before he died the only people that i feel knew about it were the people around him do you understand and i understand your point but you still have to explain it like you're explaining to a baby to people that this guy never told me he was doing this with these girls do you understand so that people will understand and i understand i feel you came out to to protect your back so that they don't twist it on your head and say oh we found his phone oh he was chatting this person he was you know you didn't want the whole thing to be manipulated and which people, i understand some, some, people, some people actually think it's um it's a it's an, a syndicate that involved and I said the police currently have Andrew's laptop. Mm -hmm. They have two laptop. Yeah. They have two iPhone. Mm -hmm. So let them open that phone. Mm -hmm. They have the technology in Abuja. Let them yeah. open it. Let them check. Okay. Let, trying to try, try let, let me just be an advocate for people talking about the organ thing. Because you know the when Rachel came out, she said he told her he was gonna do this. So that people would think 
is into R-I-C-U-A-L. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? She is the only one that can say, oh, this is what he told me. The only person that knows his mind, Andrew's mind, is God and him. Because we do not know if he was actually into that mm-hmm. or if he was into O-R-G-A-N or into R-I-T-U-A-L. And another, another um, let me just say conspiracy I have before I go, is what if while he was leaving Abba to, um, what is it called, um, before they went to Otupo, mm-hmm. what if he was making calls to people, if he was actually into this O-R-G-A-N? Mm-hmm. And those people, you know, you know, he said um, he had the guy's number and he sent it to you, one of the police guys. Yeah, one of the officers. Okay. Does he have friends in Abba? Hmm. Who? Does I, Andrew have friends in Abba? Nah, he doesn't. I don't think he has friends. I don't but he was. You said he was friends with um, the police that the police that the, started come to his house. Yeah, most police are his friends. Whenever. Co- yeah, he would have called somebody. He wasn't only sending you messages. He also need to make that clear to people. Mm-hmm. He, 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 I'm sure he was sending it to some top people who he felt could have helped him when he felt he was being kidnapped. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you exactly. understand? Exactly. I don't know, maybe there was a communication be- between the police that was taking him and somebody else telling them to um, buy him or he didn't want to pay them and he decided to run and they buyed him or it could be anything. Everybody's just guessing. And that is why the police are very important in this conversation. If you watch the video that Harrison showed when Harrison mm-hmm. went to identify the body, the police yeah. basically say and abuse the guy and say it's him with his big head. No, that and guy, that guy, that guy works with um Harrison. Oh, that officer says so. It's an officer. The one in front of the his body. Yes, it's an officer. No, that wasn't an officer. The one, okay, the one that say that is the guy. The, he's an idiot. Yeah. No, that he, he, he had the jacket and um, Harrison's. He, he, I think he works with Harrison. He had had um, Harrison's jacket on. Um, Valentine, what's his name? Harrison mentioned his name. He had the, yeah, his company's name. Oh, is, that why, is that why you say he worked for them? He worked for Harrison? No, no. not that guy. The guy I'm talking that, about the, the guy, the police guy that followed them to the body. The police guy that followed them to the body that said, yeah. that, that, that abused the body on the floor and say, idiot, that is him. That particular no. officer was the one that transport Andrew. You know that. That wasn't the one you posted. The one you posted was taller. The this taller one that one, was the taller mm. one and that one, they are the team. Mm-hmm. They are the same team. Oh, but the one with Andrew's body was wearing Harrison's jacket. I thought yes, it was. I think he just promoting it for him. Oh, okay. We need to be sure which about all this. Which is okay. Wrong. Yeah, he's just promoting okay. it for him, but he's an officer. Then another thing I would like to say is every police in every country has good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes. So I wouldn't want us to like put 100% blame on the police. Andrew was obviously into sick, something. Sick, sick, yeah, sick apart, from being, apart from being sick, he was into something inviting people over to his house. Mm. Do you understand? And another thing I would like to ask is, was he medically diagnosed in the UK with a mental illness? No, he's an adult. I don't know about that one. I think that is his Okay, priority. okay. Because it's, when you're it's, saying it's, it, it's, that... irrational, it's irrational behavior. Okay. Um, and it's unpredictable outburst. Okay, Could okay. okay. Be something. But he has expressed depression. He suffered depression. Yeah, okay. Serious depression. And okay. insecurity is part of it. All those bravogado is doing, hello, mm. there's so much weakness. Andrew okay. has never fight a man. That's just okay. Has anyway, never everything, fight everything fight. is just is just God that knows what happened. So but the thing is, him. it seems like he was somebody that had a lot of trauma and the trauma followed him all the way. That's another complaint. And that's what is very frustrating because if he was alive today, they could have gotten all these answers from exactly. him. Exactly. The frustrating part. That's yeah. what we keep emphasizing that 
you know, the way he died, you know, we keep blaming, but we are, we are more concerned about the way he died and he went away with all the information that could have helped us yeah, to find yeah, yeah. to keep, to give closure to you their families to use, and all that. Spy. You have to use spies so that they won't Oh, me. yeah, I mean, yes. So please. I don't know. The next yeah. person can come up if, uh, oh, but uh, Mr. Ben, can you please pick this girl? He's, she says she's called Unique, uh, I don't know her, Uniquely Great. She's been trying to get on. I think I've added her already. Uh, may, um, Mamina, you can go ahead. Uniquely Great is here. I add you. She was the one that was here just now. Okay. Mamina is on. Okay. Hello. There's another guy there, uh, Kingsley, uh, K Kingslayer. Yeah. He's been asking to be added for a long time. Go ahead. Can I speak? Yes, please. Okay. Um, I'm just making it clear. I might sound as if I'm harsh or anything. I'm really not harsh. I'm just trying to ask some questions and interact. Yes, please. Okay. Um. I wanted to ask a few questions. Um, I know you've repeated yourself several times, so I'm so sorry that you're having to go over yourself again. No problem at all. Why did you feel the need? Why was Mr. Andrew so comfortable in sending you those things? And I, before I say those things, I don't know how many he sent you, but I've heard you say he sent you one of the girls that came on live. And you said he sent you one of the two girls on bed that they looked drugged. You said something about they looked drugged. Mm -hmm. Why was he comfortable in sending you these things? Defensive. Impulsive, defensive. When I asked him, we have read on the newspaper, on a blog, that you kidnapped this girl. This is what he told me. He said, these are the girls. That is his message. Is there. He said, these are the two girls they say I kidnapped. Look at them sleeping peacefully in my room. Just a day two will confirm this. I just open my phone and I show it to her. I said, this girl, they look for me drugged. And then, just a day two don't know about the case. And I told her, I said, this guy has been doing this for a long time in Nigeria. I said, I know him, he's my community, he's my friend here. But what he's been going, doing in Nigeria and getting free is not talking. Okay. okay. So what Andrew sent to me is his choice. What I do with it is my prerogative. I hope you understand that. I yes, um, um, yes. Um, okay, I'm just about to reply. Okay, so he sent you the one of the two girls on bed. Yeah. You you sent it to Adetan. What about the girl that went on live to speak? Because she sent you that one too. The girl, the girl that went on live to speak was the one that Harrison posted first with a lot of court injury. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, Andrew, there's another girl that is on a blog that you injured, that say you jumped through your fence. Andrew told me that this girl, this particular girl, then he sent the picture. This girl is Olo Show. He came to my house, stole my watch, jumped. He was very defensive. I calmed down because he's in the police hand, so I calmed down. So what I did was this. I saw that video that he sent to me. You know who I show you to again? Just a dotu. If I have anything to do secretly, do you think I will show it to anybody? Okay. I show it to Sorry. a woman, I show it to a mother, I show it to a professional woman. I said, this, these are the kind of nonsense this guy is sending. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I'm just literally trying to get. I'll try to be quick so others can talk. No, I hope um, the answer is making sense for you so that when you he, I'm, I'm understanding. That's why I'm trying to answer as well, just to confirm some things. Yeah. Is the time frame? So the time, you, so the video you have on your phone of the girl, mm -hmm. was it not Andrew that sent it to you? It's Andrew that sent it. Yes, but he did not. The time frame. He sent it to you while the girl was in his house. When? Which, which girl? The, yeah. the girl that came on live and the, she was saying, oh, no, Andrew was no, saying. No, no, no. When was the girl in his house? It was January the girl was in his house. Andrew sent the video on the 22nd of May. Okay. Um, the, the thing is, I can't dispute that. And the no, reason why I can't. you don't have to dispute it. I give you fact. That's fact. Wait. Okay, that okay. It will be fact if I see it. You, do you understand? If I was to you see don't it, have on your... to see it. you're not gonna see it. I don't distribute it. So no, it's fine. Yeah. No, sorry, I don't, I don't. Hold on, hold on. The reason why you are hearing about it is because I told just Adoto when me and just Adoto have an issue that the narrative they are pushing, I'm not going with it. Just Adoto went and linked it to Harrison. 
that he has the girl, Ben has this girl picture. It was, you have to understand media. I, 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 I am. I, line I'm talking about. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, exactly. Kadiva. That, what I'm trying to say is I, I, I get what you're saying and I get the frustration that you're trying to explain yourself over and over again. Mm -hmm. the, the reason why I'm saying that is because the time frame is because you're saying that he was sent to you in April and it's a fact for you, but it can't be a fact for me because I wasn't there when he sent it to you and I didn't see anything to confirm it was sent you to really you. That's fine. To oh, yeah. I just That's you. fine. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that yes. because if you say as so, then it's as so. Yes. I'm just quickly going to go to, to my to my next question. Yes. Um, yes. I'm going to make a quick point about people saying that um, girls that are prostitutes are the ones that go on these things please i do not like that point sorry i'm just trying to make a point i'm not asking a question i do not like people saying things like that see i know there are girls that are into prostitution and it's not something we encourage it's something that is is not good we try to advise people however there are other people that fall victim to these kind of things that are not into prostitutions that you know they go they, they they have their nine to five job or they work hard and they do things and they meet a man online and you know they, they might not even go to his house they might even follow the good rules and meet him in public and know him for a year or know him for two years and he still end up doing things like this so anybody can fall victim we all just pray to god that we don't end up falling victim to this sort of situation i don't I just like the concept of people saying oh this one is a low show that one is a low show it's not nice it's not everybody that these things happen to are prostitutes. Fathers kill their children. Mothers kill their children. Children use their fathers. Yeah, so it can happen to anyone. Just making that point clear. Sorry. Um, Unique. Unique. Sorry, can yeah. I just say something? Yeah. You said, did, he, did she send, um, did Andrew send the um, girl's video, the girl that was on video with, and the yeah. live video? He is telling you, the girl said, has happened in January. Andrew mm -hmm. only sent the video to Ben in May, right? Am I right, May, Ben? On the 22nd of May. Of May. And that's when he questioned him yes. about him seeing it on Harrison's page. On Harrison's page. Right? Mm -hmm. And he bluntly denied and said the girl actually came for a hookup and stole his Rolex watch. Babe, unique, do you understand? Unique. I, I get it. I you get it. It's up. just you because the girl, the girl was questioning the, the time frame herself. She, on, on the live, she was saying no. I believe you were and, saying and it you, to you. You have to understand the girl because that was her first time actually coming on to speak to Ben directly. Yeah. Um, and I feel she should have actually gone to him in his inbox yeah. and had that banter with him even before coming on. Because like we are here, a lot of people just jump on here without knowing exactly what the story is. And they try to say what they want to say. You like understand. You I understand. It's sorry. easier said than done. You know, she went through a lot. So no, she, she went, which is understandable. Falia, very, very Falia, understandable. Falia, yes. Falia, can I say something? We can't say the girl should have done this. Exactly. Yeah, I, babe, exactly. I get it. Oh, I really can get it. Can I just it. say something? Can I, I'm just being an advocate for the both, for all sides now, because we were not there. This, and we are not in Ben's phone. We are not with, we were not with Andrew. We are not with these girls. We don't know the old, you know, whether it's transactional, whether he's, oh, come to my something's party, you know, the motive, maybe it was, maybe the underlying motive was money. Maybe the underlying motive was being a friend. We do not know. The, fact of the matter is we cannot tell a victim that's the girl that was on live how to act because she knew while they were doing the do she said he kept sending to somebody mm -hmm. so when ben came out it was the only outlet for her to say i'm sure he was sending it to you yeah to you and you know because yeah, she, she, she mentioned, yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. she mentioned that he, right had a, he kept feeling. saying a block of yeah. friends i was so. i was even i actually respect the fact that she was able to gather courage and actually come face him directly because somebody will just be in their shell and she yeah, literally exactly. had to put her because her 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 account on tiktok was actually yeah. not private, we, we are not, but she we had to put it off private because people went there everything. and they were attacking her, probably calling her a prostitute and all that. So like the we said, is, we there are millions that. of women out there we or girls that. that have probably had a, an issue or had an encounter with um, Andrew, but they can't yeah. come out now because you guys keep judging them. You guys yeah. keep calling them all sorts of names. And yeah, that is why we are here. Oh, yeah. 
failure. The reality is we cannot stop that. The reality is people have different thinking faculties. People are going to blame, like just like Nigeria, some people still hate the president. Some people prefer Peter Obi. That is the beauty of life, variety. People will have different opinions. That's the reality. People will have their entitled to their opinions. They can call um, her, um, Olojo, you know. People are entitled to that. But this girl came out, and I'm not going to blame her for coming out. The fact of the matter is she said while they were doing the do, he was sending a message to somebody. And Ben should also reiterate that he was chatting in and other people. Yes. So it doesn't look like it was just him. See, that's, that's my... That's, yes, I'm okay. so sorry, I understand I'm so sorry about to interrupt. Unique, I understand. Yeah, that was just my point. Because the thing is, see, I'm just trying to get a clear picture. I'm not... See, I'm not God. I'm not there. All this yeah. is just... This, this is literally an assumption. Yeah? yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to get a clear point. Anything we are saying is an assumption because we yes. are not there. Yeah. And, yes. yes. And, and, and please, can we also understand that uh, Ben cannot bring out everything that he has in his possession right now because like we are yet to actually, babe, babe, listen to me, babe. We are yet police and authorities.